I welcome you all to an amazing virtual classroom and we look forward to best results from you and a good association of studies with you. My name is Dr. Samson Okege from the Department of Finance, University of Lagos, and I'm the facilitator in this course. The title of this course is called Cooperative Banking and Financial System, FIN 315. Introducing the study session, you are all welcome to this first session of the module on FIN 315, Cooperative Banking and Financial System, which deals on the roles of banking in saving and investment processes. I will introduce and familiarize you with the savings investment process. Learning outcomes. One, to explain the word bank and banking system, the differentiation between savings and savings. What do you understand by the word investment? The differentiation between savings and investments, explain the term, the saving investment processes, and finally, to identify the role of banking in the savings and investment processes. According to the Business Dictionary, a bank is a company or a financial organization that is licensed or permitted to collect deposits, give loans, clear checks, and serve as a middleman in financial transactions in order to provide financial services to its customers. In other words, a bank is a financial institution where customers valuables and money are kept for safe keeping. The banking system is a connection of banking institutions that ensure the provisions of banking services, such as safe keeping of money, provision of credit facilities, provision of financial investment services. The origin of banking. The origin of banking can be traced to the ancient empires of Greek and the Babylonian. These empires meet various methods it occurs in order to use as payment for foreign trades. According to historical records, the wealthy people of the ancient room kept their coins available in the basement of the temple protected by security guards under the watch of the priests in the temple. Suggestions from historical records show that temples loan out the money, care for safekeeping. Julius Caesar, in ancient Rome, through an ancient, through an edict, enacted a Rome law, Roman law, that allowed the possessions of property of a debtor by a creditor. The Smith in London are known as backers in the 17th century. The Goldsmith possessed storage facilities, they took money and other variables from Marshall for safekeeping, which was their land out by the Goldsmith to earn interest. Acceptance of cash deposits from merchants for safekeeping was the earliest banking fortune. The second stage emerged when deposits receipts began to be utilized as a method of payment to these retainers. As a result, the first generation of banks began to produce fixed diminution banknotes, which were more widely accepted. The introduction of money lending to consumers with interest levy on it was the next stage. This allowed for a profit to be made. As a result, backers began to pay interest to merchants and others to entice them to raise their deposits. The concept of savings and savings. Savings refer to the act of putting a part of percentage, one's income, aside to increase one's assets. Savings refer to the money set aside for futuristic kind of purpose instead of present use. Savings over a period of time is referred to as a flow variable. Whereas savings refer to something that exists 
in each row and is referred to as a stock variable. I strongly believe that you understand this concept of saving and savings as highly depreciated in this. Now we move to the next, what is investment? Investment is an act of committing money or capital to an endeavor with the expectation of obtaining an additional income or profit. Investment refers to any means used in generating futuristic revenue, financial investment, including buying of stocks, mutual fund, ETF. Returns is the benefit realized from an investment, including dividend interest from loan, rent, incomes, profit from property, return sales, profit from a business activities, gains in SH ETC. Let's look at the next subtopic that talk about the relationship between investment and savings. Savings and investments are two microeconomic concepts that interchangeably and closely linked. Savings include spending less on consumption than the disposable income available and there is no risk. It is mostly placed in banks for the purpose of paying for future consumption. The savings return is in the form of interest or dividend. Complete savings are not increased by the acquisition of stock or bonds, but they grow by purchasing actual domestic assets, such as new equipment, factories, offices, housing, and the rise in the inventory of product of a company. And this process is called investment. We will do not raise aggregate savings. We, can boost, we cannot boost investments. If a person chooses not to spend a part of his income savings, utilize fixed capital such as factories, machineries to buy properties, he has thus invested in his, in his savings. The saving of fixed capital accessible may be considered to be essential to expand, which in turn contribute to economic development. Savings not made to financial intermediaries such as banks have a no probability that they be recycled as a corporate investment, leading to a shortage of investment, investment money, which may impair economic development. Why savings is less than short-term investments? It may lead to higher aggregate demand and a boom in the economy. But if savings is less than long-term investment, it can cause investment to decrease and other my growth and development. The savings and investment process. The savings and investment process revolves around banking intermediaries, thereby making them a core institution of economic growth. In contrast to the capital markets, where investors engage directly with corporations in producing marketable securities, these banking intermediaries let out clear deposit to companies or people in need for investment, usually referred to as the deficit economic units. Financial intermediaries are the core financial institutions in the savings and investment process. Financial intermediaries involve the process of linking, assuring the movement of forward from surplus economic unit to the deficit economic unit in order to grow the economy and expand the GDP. The deficit economic units are those economic groups whose expenditures is greater than its income over a period which result to a need or a need inferred by those economic units. Financial intermediaries act as a bridge that assure the movement of the excess fund from the surplus economic unit to the and their need of fund, that is the deficit economic unit. This process facilitates savings and investments as it helps to link the users of capitals and the providers of this capital. The role of banking in the savings and investment process. There's a figure for you to see. At top of it, you can see the central bank statutory reserve requirement 
in the uh, left hand side you see savings and deposit lenders you see the financial institutions banks which are normally called intermediaries and they have the investment and borrowers in other words you can look at the savings and deposits as lenders as the surplus economic units why the investment borrowers and the deficit economic units and then they pass through this money through the financial institutions which are intermediaries to the deficit unit and this process is called financial determination. Effective and efficient financial services supply by back as a result in the range of business possibilities for the SME centers, for agricultural and for businesses. Potential sources of savings and investment in the economy includes SME, farmers, and entrepreneurs. The banking system seeks to make the efficient use of the money easier and intermediate for both SME and big businesses in all areas of the economy. Savings and investments offer sources of money, both in the private, public, and foreign net incomes. The banking system seeks to take, make the efficient use of the money easier and intermediate both SME and big businesses in all areas of the economy. Savings and investments offer sources of money, both in the private, public, and foreign net income. This intermediation is done by mobilizing resources to keep service financial assets and allocate these resources to productive investment that may contribute to economic growth, development, and expansion. The effect of the banking institutions on service and investment intermediations depends on the economy. Service and investment organization depends on the soundness of the financial system of a country. That is why I can say at this junction that show me a country that is developed, I will show you a financial system that is developed. Good financial system stability allows savings to be mobilized for the investment process, which in turn provides intermediate funding for all sectors of the economy. The uncertainty of a financial system lead to difficulties mobilizing fraud and poor savings organization may need to deposit in pre banks or inside of people bury money in their bedroom. If funds are not placed in bank, the potentials of these savings as an investment is extremely limited. Banking provides consumers with various access to financial activities like savings and investment. Through savings, a consumer can plan for futuristic expenses and possible invest in savings. Now we have gone to the end of session one, but I want to take you to self-assessment questions. First one, I want to ask you, what do you understand by saving and investment? Number two, I want you to differentiate between saving and savings. In summary, a bank is a financial institution involved with acceptance of deposit, safeguarding of assets, and facilitation of payment and creation of investment channels. A bank has been in existence the time of Goldsmith in the 17th century in London, who was in charge of keeping variable for their customers. The core process of banking is saving without savings. A bank operation is gradually crippled. Thank you and God bless you.